Well, good morning and thank you for tuning in today. I'm trusting with you for a miracle in your life today. Speaking of miracles, I'm reminded about the first miracle that Jesus ever did. And we read about that in the book of John, the second chapter. Now, this is where Jesus and his disciples were invited to a wedding and something very embarrassing happened at this wedding. They ran out of wine and Jesus' mother took note of this and she came to Jesus and she said, well, they ran out of wine and Jesus answered by saying, my time has not yet come. And so Jesus' mother being persistent, turned to the servants and said, do whatever he tells you to do. And um, we all know what happened. They took stone jars and they filled it with water to the brim and that water turned into wine and it was said that it was the best wine ever. And um, so what's amazing about this is that Jesus used this miracle to reveal his glory, the word of God says, and his disciples believed in him because of that. So what's really important to see in this specific miracle that took place is that God wants to reveal his glory in and through you. But there are a few requirements um, that we need to consider when it comes to God's glory being revealed through and in you and for miracles to take place. That, my dear friends, is what um, G Jesus' mother told the servants to do. She said, do whatever he tells you to do. And so I want to encourage you this morning and invite you to do whatever Jesus tells you to do in order for you to see that wine, that water turned into wine, in order for you to see God's glory revealed in your life, in order for you to experience that miracle in your life. You see, the key over here is being a servant and being obedient to His word and to His voice and to His call. If we are not obedient, we're not going to see miracles take place. We're not going to see His glory being revealed in our lives. So with that being said, come on, let's close our eyes, let's pray together. Father God, we say thank you that we can come to you this morning and thank you that our hearts are softened by the voice of the Holy Spirit and we choose not to harden our hearts and we choose to listen to your voice and we choose to be obedient to your voice, to do whatever you require of us to do. Lord, we want to see your glory being revealed. Lord, we want to see miracles take place, but we know the requirement is obedience. And so help us this day, Lord, to be obedient to your voice, to your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May your water be turned into wine today. Thank you for watching.